My sister slept with my boyfriend, and I sent her a really cruel message that I don't regret at all. So a few days ago I, F25, found out that my sister, 24th, has been sleeping with my boyfriend, now X, 25 um, we dated for three years, for one year or probably more. I always had a close relationship, but I obviously took it as something innocent. I don't like video games, but my sister does, so they talked a lot by text and I thought it was about games they like until I found out that no, they talked a lot about their secret dates while I was working and in college. I found pictures, videos, and a lot of other disgusting things in the chats between my ex and my sister. My pathetic sister found pleasure in asking my pathetic ex all the time if she's smarter or prettier than me. She even compared our private parts, WTH, we're both pretty. She's actually thinner and prettier than me and even if she's an introvert she has her group of friends so I really don't understand where she got so much venom towards me. Our parents never compared us or anything like that and she was always that one asking my ex to compare both of us in the chat. The first thing I did was throw all my ex-boyfriend's things out of the apartment. I insulted him in a thousand ways and I kept the PC that I gave him for Christmas. I went more than a week without speaking to my sister. A silence that felt like a heavy shroud between us. She too kept her distance. Her silence is deliberate as mine. Then, yesterday, she reached out with a message that seemed more like a desperate attempt to cover her tracks than a genuine apology. She referred to her betrayal as a mistake, a mistake that stretched on for over a year. Her message was filled with pleas for forgiveness, invoking our sisterly bond, as if that alone should erase the pain she caused. For a moment I found myself grappling with the choice of whether to be the bigger person. Should I rise above my hurt and let go of my resentment? But then I came to a stark realization. I've never been one to sweep things under the rub without addressing the underlying pain. So I picked up my phone and poured my heart into a lengthy response. It's a message I'd love to share, but it's so personal and candid that it would probably cross any boundary of appropriateness if revealed. I laid out all the ways or actions that wounded me, I told her plainly how she had always seemed to struggle with her own insecurities and envy, and how her need to diminish me had been a reflection of her own dissatisfaction with her life. Her reply came in the form of a voice message, filled with emotion and regret. She cried, saying she was in a very vulnerable state, despite still being with him, which was almost laughable, and pleaded with me not to make things worse for her. She expressed deep remorse for what she had done. In response, I could only manage a single indifferent laugh to cry emoji, and didn't even listen to the entire voice message. Was it harsh to confront her flaws so openly? Yes, it was. But to me, it's even more hurtful to betray a sister, and then assume that shared blood will make everything right again. Trust and respect are not given freely, they must be earned and maintained. And once broken, they are not so easily restored. Honestly, sending that message to my sister felt incredibly liberating. It was like a weight had been lifted from my shoulders, and I finally found some semblance of closure. It was cathartic to express everything I had been holding inside for so long, and I feel a strange sense of relief now that it's all out in the open. On a different note, I've never really used a PC for gaming before, but I'm exploring the world of PC gaming and looking up tutorials on YouTube about how to download The Sims. It's a new interest I'm excited to dive into. A small distraction from the heavy emotions I've been dealing with. Reflecting on everything I've done for my sister only deepens the sting of her betrayal. I stood by her through countless challenges. I fought her battles when she was bullied in high school, and I helped her forge friendships and navigate social situations. I was always there for her, accompanying her wherever she needed. To feel that she could befray me so deeply is a wound that's hard to heal. What cuts the deepest is knowing that she not only slept with someone I loved, but also took pleasure in comparing herself to me and digging into our personal relationship for amusement. Reading those messages, seeing how she reveled in the comparisons of laughed at our private struggles, was a painful revelation. It's more than just the betrayal of trust, it's the mockery and lack of respect that hurt so much. She's essentially erased from my life now, and my parents are aware of the situation. I don't even care if they or anyone else thinks I'm in the wrong. This level of betrayal is something I can't and won't forgive. I don't feel remorse for my reaction or the harshness of my words. I'm simply standing firm in the boundaries I've set and holding on to the respect and self-worth that was so cruelly undermined. Comments. Tia Scaramal.
At least your ex showed he was a POS before you got married so now you have the opportunity to find someone who actually appreciates you. Sounds like an upgrade if you ask me. OP, to be honest the relationship was already going bad in some ways. Although that doesn't justify what he did. So I don't feel too bad for breaking up, I took out the trash. My username is May. Going bad is still never an excuse to cheat. If he had the slightest bit of respect for you as a human being, then you would just break up. Good riddance. People often say, how you lose them is how you got them. So I wouldn't be surprised if she came crying to you one day about him cheating on her. I think him move it 2405. Good for you. Perpetrator only makes themselves a victim when they wanted to. Please inform your parents of the event to not let her play victim more and throw you under the bus, and back the bus to hit you more times. OP, thanks. They already know everything. Not of them are on a side, and they respect that I want to call full contact with my sister. My parents are really strict so I think they're going to cut contact with her too, but that's their decision. I don't want to get into that and cause problems. The message same day. Thank you for all the nice comments you left me. Many wrote to me with tips for The Sims, and I'm really grateful. Thanks for the game recommendations even though I'm really bad at playing action game. The last action game I played was Resident Evil 4 on the PS2 long time ago, and it was because I had a crush with Leon Kennedy. He would never cheat on me be he w. As a token of appreciation, and because I also like it when the op uploads the whole gossip, I will put here half of the message I sent to my sister. The message I sent her was really long and I cut out the parts where I talk about very private things. Or when I insulted her to not make the post too uncomfortable because I was really hurt and angry at that moment and I talked about many personal things in the text. I will put the copy of the message in the end if someone talks Spanish. I'm sorry if it sounds weird in English. I did my best to translate it, and I had to remove a lot of parts. I'm not interested in hearing any of your excuses. I believed you when a problem she had with her ex-a-friend group happened because I really trusted that you would never do something like that but now I understand why everyone leaves you alone and you deserve it. What you did to me is a shade and you know it but you didn't care because you spent a year being the whore of X name without any shame and now that Jai found out everything you went days without talking to me because you are a coward and on top of that you still don't care about what you did to me you're only talking to me because dad probably stopped talking to you and you're running out of money so you want to fix this shit so he gives you money again? You were always an asshole, but don't you think it's a lot to be my boyfriend's second woman? How little respect do you have for yourself? We're sisters I don't even know what's going on in your head because I don't understand what's wrong with you girl I read all the messages between you and you even started comparing our bodies You're sick, you know that I never did anything for you to do this to me, and I loved you But everything turned out really well for you, because he's with you so enjoy that feeling and the love you two have for the other for now because you are going to be really lonely later and you are going to go back to your cave but this time I am not going to be there to pity you like every time I did before or stay with him there is nothing that interests me less than fighting for an idiot who is surely going to leave you but let me make it clear to you that you're not going to hear about me again this dies here we are not sisters anymore if I see you on the street then I'm going to cross to the opposite sidewalk to not see you I'm not interested in hearing any of your excuses. I believed you when the thing about a problem she had with her ex-friend group happened. Because I truly trusted that you would never do something like that. But now I understand why everyone leaves you alone and you deserve it. What you did to me is a piece of shit. And you know it but you didn't care because you spent a year being the slut of X name without any shame. And now that I found out about everything you spent days without talking to me because you're a total power. And on top of that he follows you no matter what you did to me. You're only talking to me because dad probably cut your face and you're running out of money. So you want to fix your mess so they'll deposit you again. You were always a failed idiot but don't you think it's a lot to lower yourself to that level of being my boyfriend's second? Do you have so little respect for yourself? We're sisters I don't even know what's going on in your head because I really don't understand what's happening to you. Girl I read all the messages between you and I'm not sure if you're a fucking idiot you were comparing our bodies. You're really sick. You know that I never did anything to you for you to do this to me. And I really loved you anyway. It turned out really well because he's with you so enjoy for now that love you have for each other because later you're going to be truly alone. 
and you're going to go back to your cave but this time I'm not going to be there to feel sorry for you like I always did before. Stay with him there's nothing that interests me less than fighting for an idiot who will surely leave you but let it be clear to you that you're not going to hear from me again. You die here, we're not sisters anymore and if I see you on the street I'll cross the street. Edit. Yes, I'm from Argentina. Comments. Miserable Caregiver 64. Would love to know if the ex begged or played victim. T threw your sister that he begged, and said she was a mistake too like he was to her. They will never trust each other ever. For someone to befray family like that it's sleep with a family member, would easily sleep with someone else. They will make each other miserable and keep telling themselves they're happy. Yum for coffee. As you should. You had every right to say what you told her. I hope you are able to heal and move on from the relationship as no one deserves that. It was certainly satisfying that you told her the truth and were honest about your feelings so thank you. Please do not forgive her as when you allow these type of people into your life, you only end up hurt and exploited. I wish the best for you and your future. Update three months later. They broke up nobody surprised. When all of this happened my parents scolded my sister and she got offended and didn't speak to our parents except to ask them for money. She asked them for money to buy things for her career. But then my aunt told my parents that my sister actually used that money to buy my ex some sneakers. My parents never gave her any money from that day on. She's an idiot tbh. My parents started to pay for us to go to a private college and the only thing we have to do is literally study. The only thing she had to do was take her studies seriously but she didn't. So my father got tired and hasn't sent her money for months. My ex discovered the post because he said it went viral in Facebook and obviously he recognized the story. He contacted me to apologize and said he knows he did wrong by hurting me like that, but my sister manipulated him, and it was a total mistake. I told him he can shove his apologies in the ass. Meanwhile, my sister and I have only crossed paths a few times, but she always avoids me because she thinks I'm going to hit her, I won't. We're not going to the same career so we luckily don't see each other too much. Anyway, a few days ago she went to our parents' house saying that she broke up with my ex Ike Y, and that she felt really sad and had an anxiety attack. I don't know exactly what they talked about since I wasn't there but my mother told me that she told my sister that she knew what was going to happen when she slept with him and my sister justified herself by saying that they are in love so my mother ended us argued again and my sister's left. Now she doesn't talk to anyone in the family except our grandmother to ask for money. I know my sister is not going to change her bad habits and she didn't learn anything from this. I even think she will get together with my ex again because they're just toxic with each other but it's her life to ruin, not mine and I don't care anymore. The bright side, I sold a PC to a guy from Reddit that saw my post and that really saved me from having to keep paying the dues. Unfortunately I didn't get to play The Sims much but I prefer the extra money. My ex had told me that he wanted the PC back but I told him that then he should pay the remaining dues and he said no. So the idiot wanted the PC for free, even though he slept with my sister. The weird side, there are YouTubers who are literally charging their subscribers to read the post or other Reddit posts in their podcast TF, at least give me a share of the profits. I know it's a boring update and probably everyone wanted that the update was my sister begging for forgiveness and my ex suffering but no. They are just two idiots who deserve each other, and nothing more happened but even today I received a message asking me for an update, ha <laughs> ha. Comments. Driver picks the tins. Not even six months later they break up, oh yeah clearly it was too woof. Glad you sold the PC and dropped the dead weight from your life. My username is May. They broke up. Uh huh. That was quick Ellen Fowl. Kirby Witch. I'm sorry for all that happened. Your ex and sister seem awful. But you seem in a brighter spot now. I hope life brings you happiness. Good luck. Update three free months later. Hi, it's been a while since my last update but some things happened. First of all, almost one month ago my sister talked to me from another number to tell me that her friend saw my post in a video on Facebook. Apparently it's even translated into Spanish. Ha <laughs> ha. We spoke again for the first time. She made a big fuss saying that I didn't even change our ages or data so her friend obviously acknowledged that I was talking about her since I didn't even hide my nationality. I told her that I wasn't interested about it and she should be thankful that I didn't post it on my own Facebook. 
She told me I'm a pos because I portrayed her as a slut, but honestly I don't regret it. No one here knows her face, and I'm the one who looks like a cuckold in front of everyone who knows us personally. She started pressuring me to delete the posts, but I told her that it doesn't make sense to do it anymore because it's everywhere so I just blocked that number too. A few weeks after I made my last post, they got back together, but now they're not together anymore. Acquaintances in common that I have with both of them usually tell me that they cheat on each other all the time or maybe they have an open relationship, Ike, but those people always see them with other people in clubs. I'm not very interested in that since I avoid going to the same clubs as them, it's really annoying because my sister used to not go to clubs, but now she started to go to the same ones I always used to go. She always criticized me for going to those environments. At this exact moment, they are not together, and my ex has been looking for excuses to see me like returning clothes that I forgot at his house, clothes that I don't really need, that's why I never went to look for them. So one day he came to my apartment unannounced to bring me my clothes and I had no choice but to let him in and we slept together. Just kidding, huh? I just let him into my apartment to leave the clothes I should talk to the manager of my apartment to tell him that my ex is no longer allowed to have free access to my door. And it was very uncomfortable because he reminded me all the time that he's no longer with my sister and that I am a great woman. I told him that I know I am great, but I am not interested in hearing about his relationship with my sister. I love gossip, though, and I just invited him to leave my place. He even tried to kiss me on the cheek before leaving yikes. Meanwhile, my parents don't know what to do with my sister anymore because she's even stopped going to college, although she's never really paid much attention to her studies, and they're tired of spending money if she doesn't make an effort. They have warned her that if she continues like this, they will stop paying for her studies. But from what my mother said, my sister does not care, and she really believes that my parents will at some point give her money again to fulfill her whims. I really hope right now that she doesn't get pregnant, but I'm even afraid she'll do that so my parents can support her again. And about me, I feel much better, except for the fact that I don't go to my favorite club anymore. I'm very well emotionally, and I've already reached a point where I hear their shit show as if it were something foreign to me, and I was just watching two crazy clowns. Comments. Outdoor adequate. I told him that I know I am great. Slay. You are who we should aspire to be in this situation. Scary alternative 11. I actually laughed so hard at they, I let him in, and we slept together. You're not only amazingly strong and intelligent, you are also vindictive and funny. Dark Star 915. At first I was like girl, oh no but fortunately this op knows better lol. Also the I know I'm great line was wonderful. No bus 5200. You're awesome. You have handled this whole lousy situation really well. You should be proud of yourself, I am. Keep holding your head high and live your best life. All the best to you. Quasi Cupcakes 99. If she gets pregnant, then you can go back to the clubs and have a sister-free environment. If she gets pregnant, that's her responsibility, and no one else's. She drops out of school, her fault, and no one else's. Also, if she gets pregnant and parents ask up for support, financial, emotional, and slash or familial, stop them mid-sentence and tell them to cut out that BS. Op should not put her life on pause BC. She was smart enough to cut ties with sis before ish got worse. The day sis slept with OP's BFX, that was the day she no longer had a sister, but a stranger. When she gets pregnant and they ask if Op could watch the baby, tell them, I'm sorry, not going cabo with my friends, and have some fun BC working hard at my job, deserve to live my best life, okay bye. But Op your sister could use a break. Op, she needs a break, buy her a Kit Kat. McCullough. Elmau. They cheated with each, got together after OOP broke up with him, broke up shortly while after, got together again and broke up again. I bet it's because the ex, now that he has the sister all to himself, realizes she's not good with her insecurities and need to compare herself to her own sister. Meanwhile, sister had him, but saw him not putting in any energy into the relationship, because he preferred OOP which has probably only further fueled her insecurities. Hence the cheating on both sides. Nurse Kaylee 13. This is a shit show, and I'm totally here for it. Unfortunately, I do believe that she is going to get pregnant, just to keep receiving your parents' money. 
They need to give her an ultimatum. She's a grown-ass woman. I can see parents helping their children out for a few years into adulthood to help them with their studies if they're able to. But if she's not studying and just fucking around, she'll find out eventually. Like in most of these situations, I wish it was more of them. She'll definitely fafo. Looking forward to more updates on this one. One of the most believable ones in a bit.